The coronavirus has infected more than 108,000 people worldwide and at least one dog. Yeah, that's right. Health officials in Hong Kong confirmed the case last week. Here to help understand how to protect our pets is microbiologist Dr. Emily Stein. Thanks so much for being here. It's a pleasure. So we were talking about this a little bit in the break. So one or two dogs that might be infected, is that correct? There's uh, two dogs under quarantine. Okay. One is confirmed with a low burden of coronavirus. The other one is still testing negative, but they're gonna follow that dog to see. So the only reason these dogs were even ever tested is because their owners had the virus, correct? Correct. Okay, so why is it that we're not seeing more pets get something like this? Well, pets normally get a lot of viruses, mm -hmm. parvo being one of the most common, um, which is, you know, there's a whole family of coronaviruses that just aren't talked about yep. commonly in the, in the media. Um, but for instance, this particular strain of coronavirus is very transmissible between human and human. Okay, so pets are, can or cannot give it to humans then if they do end up getting it. Right, so that's under invest, uh, we're watching okay. people, so we don't know yet. Okay. Um, uh, there are a lot of folks that are studying this actually, but nothing has been widely documented. All right, it's, it, I know obviously I'm, pets could get it, but they're just not showing symptoms. Right. Okay, and then so can it be, if, well, I guess it, a lot of these are if, if, if questions, right? Yeah. Can, if a dog gets it and gets it to his owner, could it be more serious than what the dog would face? But they have such different immune systems. True. Uh, the way the virus works is it, uh, you can either, it'll attach to your lung tissue mm -hmm. or your GI tract. So you can ingest it or inhale it, um, you or your pet. And um, pets seem to be asymptomatic, and obviously humans are very symptomatic. Right. Is there anything we should be doing for our pets then as the continue, do you see more spread? Yeah, so uh, three things have been published to be very effective cleaning agents. Um, hydrogen peroxide, 1.1% uh, bleach solution, believe it or not, and soap and water. Just good old fashioned soap and water that does it. You bet. Now you brought a couple things along with you too. Yeah, so basically, uh, you know, we're going after dental care, mm -hmm. uh, which is a pervasive, very deadly uh, chronic disease that yeah. pets and people get. Uh, it's really important that uh, if you're on antibiotics, you're getting rid of most of your protective microbiome, which mm -hmm. are the microbes that coat every surface of your body. And that leaves you vulnerable to a secondary co-infection with virus. Okay. So we're trying to just grow the beneficial protective bacteria in the mouth and GI tract of pets and people. Well, and also because that's how pets transfer diseases. Absolutely, too. so every time they lick your face, they're transferring millions of microbes all over. Same thing, so you don't want to French kiss your animals. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> yes, definitely not now. Yes. <laughs> but and is this kind of thing can help that clean up that surfaces in their mouth? Absolutely, yes, and more, more importantly, protects that protective barrier uh, by growing the good bacteria. And you should be brushing your dog's teeth too. 2% brush their dog's uh, teeth. Yeah, and cats don't get their teeth brushed. I would, I'd be even harder, I would imagine, with cats, they're harder right? to catch. <laughs> yeah, and millennials, I'm finding out, only one, a third of millennials brush, don't brush their teeth more than once every two days. Really? But they'll whiten their teeth every week. What? That is like where all the germs are. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. Oh yeah, oh. this germaphobe is disgusted by that fact. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. All right, that's fascinating. The whole thing is that we're learning more about the coronavirus um, and the transmission between pets. And we were talking a little bit too, little kids are not showing up with the disease too because they're kind of like pets where they're right. constantly bombarded with stuff. So one thing we don't know are, are older pets. Just like in older humans, they're showing much more symptoms and they're actually having the higher fatality rates. The question is, and we'll learn this as we follow um, uh, the progression of this disease in, in the United States, is what about those older pets? Older subset. All right. Lots more to talk about. Thank you so much for being here today. We really appreciate it. For more information on Teeth Health, check out its website. We'll also post all the information on the JamTVShow.com.